Hello everybody, welcome to Most Kitchen. So today I've taken a request from one of my viewers. Her name is Christina Medina. Thank you for the request. We're making Chinese fried green beans. There's going to be a lot of different ways, a lot of different methods, and a lot of sauces you're going to use. I'm just going to show you one basic way, but on the site I'm going to explain a lot of stuff. Be sure to check out the blog. Anyways, let's get this party started, shall we? I will admit the wok would be better for this, but mine's in the shop right now. Anyways, like a lot of Asian recipes, very hot pan, hot oil, throw in your... Ginger. I've got about two teaspoons of it chopped up finely. However much you want to put in is your call. 30 seconds to a minute in this kind of heat. Then you're going to add in your garlic. Same kind of idea. Maybe 15 to 45 seconds at most. You'll know if you judge it by your pan. This stuff cooks quick. You don't want it to burn. Mine got a bit toasted, but it's more than okay for this kind of uh, use. So I just got a little bit more than half a pound of green beans. And I got to apologize for the lighting. It's a little later in the day than I would have liked. But the recipe must go on. Right? It's going to kind of... This is going to be a bit tricky, depending on your pan, you got to walk or not. Ooh, light went down for a second. It's going to depend on how long it's going to take. Some people fry the beans first, get them crispy, then they fry the garlic and the shallots and the ginger. Then they add the beans back and they eat them up. This is more or less of a quick and easy way, so I'm choosing this way for now. Again, look at the vlog for all the different tips I'm going to have. Season it gently with salt and pepper. Yes, we're adding in soy sauce, but we need the salt and pepper. Give it a stir for a couple of minutes before you add anything else. You'll know when it's ready. You get to taste it in about four to five. Keeping it on high heat, mind you. Okay, so it's looking good. Now I'm going to add the soy sauce. That's going to be the main sauce you're going to add. Some people use sambal or hoisin, which is actually what I'm using now. And to be honest, I kind of regret using it. It kind of caramelizes a bit much. But it still turned out pretty good. You can add some chilies. I'm going to let it up for a minute. Just let it braise a bit and soften. You could add some chilies if you want to. But I'm not really in the mood for heat, so that's your call. Okay, this is looking nice right about now. They're almost done. Honestly, I let it go another 5-7 to seven minutes on a high heat just to kind of crisp them up a bit. Now, the reason you would probably would fry them first is because all the sauce there is kind of crisping, caramelizing, and braising at the same time. It's not really making them super crispy. But again, this is how a pretty good way. This guy has a little bit of bite, and that's what I like. You can boil them first, as some people do, but they might get a little soggy at the end. I tasted one out, thought I'd add a little more soy sauce and give it my own kind of shake. This is a disadvantage not having a wok. But like I said, mine's at the shop right now. Okay, now it's time to plate it up. That's exactly what I'm liking here. Chinese fried green beans are done. Hope you all enjoyed the recipe. Visit the website, leave a comment, and go ahead and leave me some more requests. I really enjoyed doing this one. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it.